The janky life don't stop. We about to just zip tie this joint in, bro, because too many complications with this terrible fitment. But as y'all see, oh, it's too light for the struts. Trunk is on though. What the fuck is you talking about? About to get it fully secured. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. We did it. Fixed it. It's on there. Going dummy. I don't like how this looks on the trunk, but um, I probably end up getting like a separate black plate for like shows or something that I can run and then just keep that on so I'm not fully illegal, I guess. But it makes the rear end look way better. Like, way better. Needed that. I feel like this is though, maybe it's a better option. Like, I've never ate it here, but I don't feel like this is a lot. Yeah. Cool break. All right, yeah, had to do some slight modifications um, to some of the things on the trunk to make them fit better and make everything work. Some of the stuff is kind of janky, I'm not gonna lie. Now, this is not a knock on the manufacturer or the shop that sent me the trunk. I'm pretty sure I just got a defective one. Um, tried to go the route of getting it shipped back and getting a new one sent out, um, but it wasn't gonna be free. My brother had already signed for the carbon trunk, so once you sign for anything that's carbon pieces you're you're supposed to open it up check it make sure everything's good and sign for it obviously my brother did not know that so he just signed for it thought everything was good and then we find all the issues now that's not to say that uh don't order don't order carbon parts or uh you know don't order from this manufacturer that's not what that means because nine times out of ten when you do have um carbon parts that are like, uh, how can I put this? Nine times out of 10 with carbon parts, the fitment isn't always not 100% one-to-one how OEM is, right? So with the Cybon hood, it fits really good, like nine out of 10, but nothing is ever going to fit like OEM. My situation was a little different where holes are off by millimeters or inches here and there and then things need to be a re like readjusted and whatnot and i don't know if that's something with the, the trunk i got because i talked to other 2is owners with the trunk and they said they did not have these issues so like i said i think i just got a dut that's not a knock on this and that's not a knock on the shop that sent me the um trunk so you know don't take that as a hundred percent you know what it is about those two entities or whatever like it's just my situation it just so happened to happen to me so that's the whole situation with the trunk but we got it on let me show you the backup camera because i'm not gonna lie i'm holding mine in with a zip tie right now <laughs> and one bolt put it in reverse backup camera is on the duck bill kind of blocks it and it's pointed it's like tilted, uh, kinda. So I'm gonna go in there and adjust it, try and get it as close to where it needs to be as possible. Um, but yeah, eventually, one day when I'm not being lazy. But let me show you guys the car from the outside because it is busting. That trunk is wild. Let me show y'all this, young. She is sitting up pretty, and oh my god, this trunk, finally on, so good, so good, all the carbon pieces are gonna, like, look so amazing once the car is wrapped too, now, this is that same scratch from before, I don't think I sh ever showed you guys a video of what was originally wrong with the trunk, so, if I can find those clips, I'm going to go ahead and add them to the beginning of this video so there's context. But as you can see, like, the gapping and the actual fitment is really good. Like, really good all around. Yeah, let me get down here and show y'all not die from my exhaust fumes. <laughs> but all of the gapping and the fitment is very, very good. Fits damn near just like OEM. I think this part of the trunk goes up a little higher than OEM, or maybe I'm just tripping, but all of that fits very, very good, and it looks amazing. Um, yeah, let me, 
I'm contemplating whether or not I'm gonna show y'all the janky shit. I'm gonna just be 100% tr transparent with y'all, show y'all all the stuff we had to pretty much do to get this on. Um, all of my buttons, everything works and functions how it would. We just had to do some custom stuff. <laughs> Shout out to Z and uh, Ali Banana. I'm gonna leave their links, but first custom thing. The bolts for the VLANs are 10 millimeter. So we took um, the regular bolts that come in the VLANs out and because they screw out like a 10 millimeter and we put in a, a different 10 millimeter with a washer and it, it bolted right in because the little uh, caps that screw on with the VLANs, um, there's not enough of the bolt that sticks out to actually thread it. So this was the solution we came up with and to get the tail lights in, we had to do that on both sides. Um, I have to trim down some of the rubber on the grommet and y'all can see the camera is slightly tilted so that's why it's crooked. Um, I, I'm gonna have to adjust that, but these cutouts I had to enlarge. I just got a Dremel and basically all the stuff that needed to be opened up and enlarged, we went ahead and did. I had uh, Restorify go ahead and cut this hole in. Shout out to Zeus at Restorify. He cut the hole in for the backup camera. And I'm just gonna trim down the grommet um, to place it back in here for water protection. And it needs to be trimmed down right along this edge because it blocks the top of the camera some. But um, the keyhole, I don't really use my key, but this is an easy fix. I can just open that up some. And we had to do the same thing for the tail light on this side. Now, the thing with uh, the VLANs and this trunk, the VLAN fitment was not the best. The biggest gap is like right here, kind of. Like, that's not the best. But that's how it was on the OEM trunk as well, so I'm not uh, really mad at it. This one fits really good. But this side, that's how it was on my OEM trunk too. I don't know why, but yeah, jump fits good, so look at that jump. <laughs> Also, I threw on some of the stickers. I don't know why I'm pointing out stickers. Threw on the Sabon Carbon sticker, the AIT Racing uh, sticker. That is for the side skirts and the front lip. The front lip is on the car now, but I do need to reorder an, um, a new one because the one I have on is busted up. But the side skirts I'm going to be getting, I believe, are AIT as well. Let me show you all the lip while I'm thinking about it. Oh, my God. I scraped so hard earlier. This Joan is, yeah, not looking too good, but she's coming together. She definitely needs the side skirts because she looks naked without it. But that tent, the black roof with the hood into the trunk is so crazy. So fucking crazy. She hard. I guess the main thing I want to talk about um, for anybody who is going to buy carbon parts or just any aftermarket body parts for their car, don't be afraid to make the modifications necessary. Like, if you got the piece and, you know, you need to make it fit, don't be afraid to do it yourself because a lot of stuff is not as hard as it seems. If it's your first time, then, you know, I understand being scared. I was scared to start chopping away at this thing, but... The biggest part I did by myself and then my friends went ahead and helped me with the rest of it. And we honestly, we could have got everything done originally in a day, but everything just seemed too overwhelming to go ahead and handle ourselves at first, or at least that's what I thought. But a lot of the stuff that goes for anything, just go ahead and try it. Then if you can't do it, at least you did try, but we were able to get it done. It saved me a whole bunch of money because to send it back, I would have had to pay for shipping and shipping on carbon across the country is not cheap. So. Saved me a whole bunch of uh, money. Wish I would have just went ahead and done it sooner. And I love how it looks, so I think that's a win. I'm not mad. Getting back in the car, because it's cold as hell. For whatever reason, it was like 70 degrees yesterday. And now, all of a sudden, hold on. It's like, where is it at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? 43. That's some bullshit. It was hailing earlier. This is BS. What happened to my 70s? It's about to be cold all week. I don't have time for this, man. I'm getting old. My joints is feeling it. This weather keep changing. But yeah, that's pretty much it with the trunk. Um, if you guys have any like specific questions about the trunk, go ahead and comment down below. I do read all the comments. I will see the comment. I will do my best to respond. 
Um, or you can go ahead and DM me on Instagram. A lot of you guys do. So the next day, going, <laughs> going down. Keep the space. Keep the space on that. Oh damn! This is Alexa's channel, but that E30 is clean. That zone is clean. Damn. On the BBSs? I fuck it up because I didn't even show y'all the line. Going. Nah. Showing off the turbo today. That's how you doing it, bro? Showing off the turbo? Right here. Ooh, the world's smallest turbo. Damn. How many pounds are you running Y'all ready, ready for the reveal? No! Ready? 10 days, boys, man. Ooh. Don't look at it too long. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I don't want to expose you with this setup. How many pounds are you pushing on that, Joe? Uh, about 0.5. Point. <laughs> <laughs> Take hey. Cali Foe. I don't need no, you just need Shadow. Dang. How did Domo even get the... Hey! Damn! Wow! Wow! Shut up, What the turkey? Damn! Oh yeah, Oh yeah, I don't see it. I'm trying to see. Wait, so this one has the blow out? Yeah, bro. Make sure y'all check out his channel too. Auto Elite Customs, I gotta support all the teachers out there too. Full-time teacher, full-time car enthusiast, does YouTube custom work. Make sure y'all check him out. My man Cam ain't even mean to match. That's how you that's how you coming for? You gonna do it, bro? Very soon, next year. Getting the super. They pulled up just for me. Flex on me. Motivate me more. Which spot you want this one Double park, yeah. Fuck it. Screw it, dude. Uh, yeah. Going kind of <laughs> down. Look at Califo running. That's the first time I ever seen him running. <laughs> right, yo, got him. That's good. That's what I'm about. Yeah. Going dummy. Make sure y'all hit up Yami Visions. And Malcolm. Malcolm. Both dummy. Yeah, right. Both dummy. Both dummy. Both going dummy. Jesus. Bringing it in? That's Auntie Califo. Going dummy. Going dumb. Sheesh. She's good. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're Shit, we need to bring her. We, hey, bro, we need to bring her to Park Hayeswood, bro. Speed shit up a thousandfold, bro. Stop looking at her, bro. Y'all put her on the spot. <laughs> 
She got it perfect, nigga. She's yeah. good. <laughs> she did that shit better than me, nigga. Look at my shit. Fuck. Okay. Swear it's YouTube. Famous guy. You know I got you, bro. Famous guy. He's about to pass me. Baby bottle. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Do a baby theme trunk setup. <laughs> VIP baby setup. That's what he's about to have. Alexis Society baby bottles? <laughs> the new IS? Going semi dummy. The bloody guts. The bloody guts. Ooh. Next car going dumb. He said. Car. They literally just all oh, fuck. Yo, you gotta. I don't know if y'all can hear the music in the background. I'm not trying to get copyrighted. This pimple going dummy, acne spanking me. But uh, I didn't record much at all at the VA Lexus meet because by the time I got there, everybody was leaving. But this meet, uh, I don't even know the name of this meet. Just pulled in with the most of the, the homies. This show was pretty deep. I didn't record much because my phone was about to die. I'm not vlogging off my camera, but y'all seen the meet? It was it was pretty chill. Some cool ass cars out. So uh, I think we're about to go take photos now. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I guess I don't know. I don't even be knowing what to say to y'all. Fuck y'all looking at goofy ass nigga. <laughs>